Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to create on the fly. I've got um, a bunch of scraps of the my designer series paper that I would like to try and make some cards out of, and then some card bases. I got a variety of the in colors that are going out. I'm going to try and use up a bunch of what I have. Um, and a bunch of labels that I've cut out. And I'm just going to play, so I hope you can come along for the ride. Okay, I'm going to start with this one that's right on top. Might as well. Let's see, and this is cut. Most of these are um, four by five and a quarter inches. So you can either mount it directly onto your front of your card, or you can add a card a layer behind it. Let's think what I want to do here. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to score a couple of these card bases. Right in my... Scored at four and a quarter, so five and a half by eight and a half. Half of that is four and a quarter, and the reason I score it is because I don't like when the edge gets all bumpy and cracky. It's just one of my things. I just don't like that. Grapefruit Grove. I think it'll go with that. And I'm looking to see which side I'd want to be folded in. Like the paper, if you look at it, a lot of times has a natural curve to it, which would make it easier to fold. It doesn't always have that. But White square. I guess to shift it a little when I cut it. Okay. I'll put this up for a minute. I got a few here, so we'll play with these. All right. Let's put this away. Let's start with this piece. Do I want that size of a border? Do something like this. Oh, I kind of like that. Let's do that. Okay. Get my glue out. Most of these um, scraps are, um, I think I said it already, four by five and a quarter, but I've got some that are all different sizes. This is any of my um, designer series paper that is retiring, I cut into card front or you know usable sizes, so I can easily make some cards up. I don't want to hoard it like I usually do because then it just sits there. Or once the new stuff comes, I don't use it. So I want to use it. I want it to be this way. Oh, I kind of like that. Now you could add lace to this, whatever you want. I'm just going to make simple basic cards. Let's come in with some these labels. 
Got a couple I've already stamped. It's pretty, but I don't know. Let's try this one. Oh, I kind of like that. And these are just random labels. Most of them are stamping up, but there's one or two there that's not. And I think I'm going to put this on dimensionals. And I know I go overboard with my dimensionals. I just like it to be popped up nice. get in the way like mine sometimes do. So, oh, that's already stuck itself down. Uh, come on. Well, you can use your tweezers to hold on to the piece till you get it where you want it so that it doesn't, so that you know where you're, because like my hands are in the way and I can't really see what I'm doing. Well, that doesn't look bad. Let's see, I've got a Ribbon here. Should I try to make a bow? Let's try this way. See if I can make a bow this way. How did she do that? That makes she makes it look so easy. Okay, like just do it my own old-fashioned way. Maybe, maybe not. Got a little bow on there. Do we want that? I don't know. Let's cut it off and see. That's over here somewhere. So. I like to work off the spool when I'm making ribbons because then that's all the waste I have, that little tiny piece. I don't have a huge big amount of waste. I don't like wasting ribbon. I'm not sure I like that on there. I don't mind it there. I don't know. We'll see. Just put this aside for a minute. Actually, let's bring in... I think I already took them out of here, didn't I? I'll put those. Got a bunch of sequins. Uh, like that. It's quite simple, but I might just leave it at that. Okay, let's go. That's one down. And that's a fairly light enough colored card you can write on the inside, so I'm not going to put an inside in it. And let's keep going. I've got quite a mess here. There's a blue card base. Let's see what we can come up with for this blue card base. There's my pieces. Maybe I'll do it this way. Does this fit on there? Kind of like that. Let's try it. I wonder if 
I want to put this on a layer. Oh, that's pretty. Well, this one's a little bit different size. Looks like it's three and a half by five. Or it's three and three quarters by five and a half. down to match that. I think I'll do that. Maybe this bow would go pretty on there, on this one. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and mount it and then we can uh, trim that edge. And that's a pretty one too. I love this paper. that. I don't have any tape though, so I'll let you snail. use it once I got it here. And that's retiring also, so it's straight. Do that. Okay. Chimney. You can tell it's spring because my dog's shedding like crazy. Can't keep up with the hair. Not that I'm great at it, anyways, but. have that flick down, I guess. I'll put it right there. Put that glue dot. Oh, there's two cards. I like that. Let's see. Do I want to add any? Maybe I'll add some of these. They're pretty. Let's see. Oops, I forgot I had it opened. Don't want to stick them down yet, but I want to just add a couple of these around. I think these were from a paper pumpkin. we go. That's pretty. Okay, that's two. Well, I'm just going to keep playing like that. I just basically wanted to come on and make a quick video. These are the two cards we just made. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper. I figured I'd better show you how I made uh, one of the tags. I'm gonna, I've come got this 
piece onto the lovely lipstick. I like it. And I think I'm going to use this tag, but I need a sentiment on it. So I'm, let me. I'm going to come in with. I think I'm going to use soft sea foam. This is the leaves from the rose. From. Um, Thinking, I'm doing a lot of thinking of you cards. Right in the center, right over the top of what I already stamped. There you go. That's how I did the. The labels. 